<clears throat> You're actually quite tired, huh? I mean, when you chant, and you don't, uh, you're not sure of chanting, I mean, then at least listen with one, or, but one ear, you know, what other people are chanting, not, you know, just, yeah. And yesterday somebody close to me was chanting completely wrong things, and that, of course, brings me, you know, also in trouble, yeah. So, I mean, listen with one ear and instantly correct yourself if you know you're wrong, yeah. And if you if you're not sure of the chant, you know, I mean, then... Don't chant so loud, yeah? <clears throat> It's one thing. Yeah. And the chants that we do today, yeah? I mean, these are the basic chants. I don't expect any other chants from you, yeah? Except for the morning chant that we will do also sometimes. Yeah? And that's about it, yeah, and you should know them, yeah, especially, you know, when you go out, you know, to, to certain ceremonies, you need to know much more chanting, yeah, but that is completely up to you, yeah? so you should train it. So, can somebody uh, translate to me what it means, what you, you sit at Chao, you may pantehohi, what it means, yeah? And Alex, what did you chant? Acharyo me pante ho he. May you be my teacher. And? Go on. I mean, you, you know only the Pali thing, you don't know what it really means, huh? So the belief is, may you be my teacher and may I take dependence with you. And the second part, uh, that we will share, I will be a burden for you, and may you be my burden. So, what does it mean? Yeah? You are my burden, hmm? that I teach you, that I look after you. Yeah? But I'm your burden as well. Yeah? You have to look after me, and that mostly physically, you know, not mentally, yeah? or spiritually. And you, you tend to forget that sometimes. You think it is only one-sided. Just like, you know, it's just very typical in the West, you know, if there is a teacher, you know, I mean, you suck him out, you suck him dry, you know, and but you don't care about his physical health. You don't care about his, you know, that he has something to eat or something to drink. It's just like we don't care about our parents. No? We just take them for granted when they get old, you know, we put them in the old people's home, yeah, and that's it. Yeah? No, the parents are our arahants. Yeah? That's what the Lord Buddha said. Yeah? That's why killing one's parents is, is just the same thing as trying to, to as killing an arahant or trying to, to harm the Lord Buddha. It's the same same penalty, strongest penalty. So looking after one's teacher, it's also uh, it's one of our duties. Yeah, looking after sick monks. Yeah, it is down in the Patimok, yeah? The monks who are you know who is it, the first panza, you know, have to study the Patimok, Yeah. I mean, there are all the files, all the discussions, there are audio files, so I mean, you can listen to it while you read, yeah? While you read the Patimok, yeah? And that is a requirement, that is not, you know, that's not an option, yeah? As monks, you have to know the Patimok, you have to know the 227 rules, yeah? So this is not an option, yeah? And, yeah, not just reading the rules, but understanding what it means, yeah? 
That's and we we did that the first the first year. I mean, when the first monks came to see me, we did the discussion, a complete discussion of all the Patimoka roots. Yeah. So I mean, I, I I put it I put it to you, you know, to to listen to this discussion. Yeah. Sorry, it is only in English. Yeah. But uh, I mean, you can I mean if you you can read it in Thai. Yeah. <coughs> What are the three books? What it is? Um, no, I forgot it. Vinayamuk. Vinayamuk, yeah. Volume one, volume two, volume three. If you want to read it in Thai, it's fine. Yeah, read it in Thai. Yeah. <clears throat> but the discussion is only in English. So. And if you have some questions, you know, either you know, ask the, ask, ask the senior bickers. Yeah, I mean, if you. If you can't be satisfied, you know, then come in and ask me. Yeah. Today, yeah, we decided to spend the rains retreat here in this monastery, and the the wall of this monastery is that where we have to stay, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I mean, we cannot leave. We cannot leave the monastery. During the night, or we, we cannot spend one day, including one night, away from it. Yeah. So if you are not here, you know, by by uh, two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning, that means we broke our vasa and we don't have one pansa. Yeah. If you don't have an exception, yeah? I mean, there are exceptions to this rule hmm, where we can go. If our if our Upacha is sick, you know, we can go and visit him or take care of him or other reasons. Yeah. These are the only reasons when we can leave him. So I will and the dogs can't leave as well, so that's why they're how, yeah. Thought it was the chickens here, it's the dogs, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, something, yeah. I mean, Lungda was giving a talk, it was the uh, <clears throat> it was the garok, you know, the what, what is it in, in English? Squirrels. Squirrels, yeah, the rattling through the iron gate, yeah, or oh. <clears throat> oh, the airplanes, always something, or oh, rain. I mean a pansa. I mean a rains retreat is really a retreat. We don't have any work to do except for the work of practicing, practicing sila samari panya. Yeah, that's what the rains retreat is. An intensive retreat. Huh? We cannot go get out. Yeah, we cannot go and travel or go here and go there. Yeah, so we spend the time in. In practicing, yeah, and we intensify our effort. Yeah, I mean, the effort that you display for the moment is not the effort where you can get anywhere. Yeah, the effort to train the mind is is really being completely focused. Yeah, on our practice. Yeah? Be it the practice, you know, why why are you doing the work? Be it the practice of the Buddha. Yeah. While you're cleaning the sala or while you're sweeping, yeah, be it the Buddha or be it the investigation of the body. Yeah? These are the two practices that we have. Yeah? And yeah, of course, you know, when we sit longer, yeah, tackling Tukka Vedana or painful feeling. Know what you're doing, why you're doing, and what kind of results it has. We have to foster the sati, and we have to really foster it well. Without the sati, is uh, like we don't open our eyes, so we don't see. Fostering sati is opening, starting to opening the eyes. Yeah, of course, if they have been closed for a long time, 
And you know that, you know, sometimes when you slept too long, I mean, when you open your eyes, I mean, they're completely blurry. Yeah? So, and that is what is happening when we start to open our eyes with sati, or inner eyes with sati. Yeah? So you have to foster that, that you don't have any other hope, you know, how to ever battle the kilesas if you don't have sati and panya. Panya is done through investigation, is done through observing, yeah? observing the loathsomeness of the body, observing the nature of the body, observing the hate that comes up, observing greed, observing dukkha, vedana. That's how we gain wisdom. We don't gain, gain wisdom by thinking about this or thinking about that. Yeah? We gain wisdom by observing. Yeah? And for observing we also have to use our thoughts. When, when we investigate the body, hmm, we have to use, once we see the object that we want to investigate with our inner eyes, then, hmm, then we dissect it or put it apart or put it under fire or throw it into water hmm, or split it up until, you know, until we see the nature of it or until we see the loathsomeness of it. And be careful, you know, as I always say, you know, when you do a lot of body investigation, there will irritation and anger coming up. But the irritation, and notice that as well, and note that for real, the irritation and the anger will not come up during our practice, yeah? I mean, if the practice is going very well, I mean, we will see it, you know, we will understand a lot of things, yeah? But the irritation and anger comes up the moment we stop our investigation. Yeah? We see something, you know, it irritates us, we hear something, or we see somebody else doing something, and then the anger shoots out. Yeah? We haven't seen it before, so I mean, be careful. Yeah, You have to be careful about these things. <clears throat> don't let the anger out on somebody else. Yeah? And especially don't let the anger out on your teacher. Yeah? I've seen that before. That is a no-go. Yeah. <clears throat> there is anger that is coming up, and that is not your anger, and you, and this anger is not produced by outside results, or, but it is produced by by the investigation of the body that we are doing. Yeah. So you should be really clear about that. Yeah. If the investigation really bears fruit, that's when the irritation and anger comes up. If, the, if you play around with the body, you know, and look at it, you know, from this side or from that side, and no irritation and, uh, and uh, no anger is coming up, that means we are not really doing our investigation work. Yeah. Investigation of the body is done, you know, for, for, three, for three things. Yeah. Understanding the nature of the body, seeing the body as, as something that is not desirable, and, and uh, dealing with greed and hate. Yeah. I mean, put in some effort, you know, put in some effort in your work. I mean, I really want to see you. I really want to see you. I mean, the only, the only thing I, I mean, I accept you is, you know, because of your, yeah, of your wish, you know, to overcome Dukkha. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, the wish is, it's just a wish if there is no action following. Yeah. And what I don't see at the moment is there are, there are no actions following. Yeah. This is a madhouse. Huh? I mean, how do the rats come up there and this is roof anyway? Yeah. We should put some, some rat, rat traps, you know, to catch them a little bit, yeah? yeah. Catch them and then and carry them off to another place yeah, where they don't come back. Yeah. Sati is developed by knowing, yeah? 
knowing that the breath is coming in, knowing that the breath is going on, going out, knowing that the breath is deep, knowing that the breath is shallow, knowing that it is in breath, knowing that it is the out breath, knowing that it is between the in breath and the out breath, or between the out breath and the in breath, yeah? or knowing about the Buddha, yeah? knowing that the Buddha is fast, knowing that the Buddha is slow, knowing that the Buddha is, <coughs> is deep or is shallow. Knowing that the Buddha just started, knowing that it's the end of the Buddha and the next Buddha is coming. Yeah. And because that is so difficult and that's so tedious, you know, that's why you don't like to do it. You just want to run it automatically. While the Buddha is running automatically, I mean, you just think in the background. And that's why, you, why your samadhi doesn't improve, really. Yeah? Because the things is running, the Buddha is running in the background and you don't keep any interest. As I always say, you know, 100% interest is 100% concentration. Yeah? If you're interested in the Buddha or if you're interested in the breath, 100% you're instantly gone. Yeah? One, two, three, and you're gone. Yeah? And I experienced that for myself. I just was interested in the breath. Yeah? And everything else didn't matter to me. But when I look, you know, when I look at you, you know, when you walk from here to there, I mean, there's so many... Tr- Interest in other things that you show or do you do you <coughs> display, yeah? And what is going on around me? What is he doing? What is that doing? You know, what is there? What is he? Yeah? There's not there's not this really there's not, you know, there's this this real concentration is lacking, this real interest, you know, I want to do my practice, yeah? I want to get it, you know, I want to get to the results that the Achan talks about, or that the Lord Buddha talks about it, you know, I want to go to the safe place, or I want to go to the Apana Samadhi. Hmm? But this, yeah, I mean, no, we want to know what is going on in the world, we know, want to know what is going on in the monastery, yeah? We want to know what our colleagues are doing, yeah? What is he doing? What is he up to? Yeah, what is, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah? I mean, that doesn't bring us to any kind of results. Results brings us constantly ticking at the same point, yeah? We concentrate on the tip of the nose when we observe the breath, or we concentrate on the Buddha, yeah? And then observe it, yeah? And two things, yeah? There's one thing, the the, the point of concentration, it's either on the Buddha or on the tip of the nose, yeah? or shortly underneath the nose, yeah? and then knowing how the breath is, or knowing how the, breath, uh, how the Buddha is. That's our work. Yeah? Not being interested in what is going on around us. Yeah? Not being interested in how much food does he get, how much food does he get, you know, why do I get so little? Yeah? What is he eating? What is there eating? You know, I mean, yeah. no, that's not practice. Yeah. Practice is really, yeah, <clears throat> in the sense being tunnel viewed. Yeah, just having one interest. You know, I want to get my Buddha done. Yeah, I really want to get my concentration. I want to really to develop sati. That is, yeah, and in this in this way, we really have to be tunnel viewed. Yeah. No interest whatsoever outside, yeah? In the sati is that what develops, yeah? The sati is a knowingness, and we don't have to look up actually to know what is there. Our inner eyes will tell us, yeah? And then we see everything, yeah? We see whatever is in our, yeah? I mean, if you walk down to the sala, I mean, you don't have to open, you, you don't have to lift your eyes, you know, in order to know what is on the way. Because Sati tells you. Sati knows, yeah, we don't need our physical eyes for knowing, yeah? We need our inner eyes. And these inner eyes are are firmly closed, yeah? And we need to open them. Yeah? But I don't know how often I tell you this, yeah, I mean it's still oh no. I mean, there's no really interest, yeah. I mean, these results are so great, you know. I mean, just just the results of Upachara Samadhi or even Apana Samadhi, yeah. I mean, it's it's a wonder. It's a wonder in meditation. And all what we need to do is concentrate on this one point, yeah. And know what is going on on this one point. That's all what we need to do, yeah. 
And what do we do all day long? Yeah. Of course we have to fight in our boredom, we have to fight restlessness and we have to fight Dukkha Vedana. So, how do we fight it? Not by fighting it off, not by escaping it, by investigating. What is Dukkha Vedana? What is, what is painful feelings? Yeah? So we sit. Yeah? Okay, I want to get up, so I don't get up. Yeah? What is, to, what is painful feeling? Where is the pain? Yeah? Understanding what is pain. We always escape from pain. The same thing, you know, the other thing that comes in, you know, that we constantly escape is fear. Or restlessness. We just start to do something. Yeah? These three things, you know, are, are there to be investigated by you. Yeah? Not just to follow, you know, you follow your instincts, you know, of evading the truth. You're waiting uh, to understand what is going on. So what is pain? Where is the pain? Hmm? Is it point-wise? Is it, is it area-wise? Is it moving? Is it changing? Yeah? Investigate it. And where actually does it sit? Yeah? Before it hasn't been there. When we get up, you know, I mean, it has disappeared. It's just like magic, huh? It never occurred to you, yeah? The moment you get up from your meditation seat, the, uh, the pain is gone. How can that happen? Huh? I mean, if you hit your head, you know, I mean, you know there is pain. No matter if you sit, if you lie down, or if you walk. Yeah? But if, with meditation, we see, ah, okay, you know, when I stop meditation, the pain is gone. So, what kind of pain is that? Huh? We think it is physical pain because we strain our body. Huh? That's what we really think. That's what we believe. And that is this belief we have to undermine. It's not. It's not just a belief. Yeah? See it, you know, investigate it and get down to it. Get down to the point of it. Yeah? Observe it, observe it, observe it, observe it. Is it in the flesh? Yeah? I mean, you have flesh since you are born. Is it in the, in the skin? You have skin since you are born. Is it in the tendons? You have tendons. You know, why are they hurting only now when you do meditation? Why are, you, why are they no, not hurting, you know, when you drink something or eat something? Huh? You sit long, you know, you sit long enough, you know, when you eat, yeah? Why, why is there nothing, why is there nothing hurting? Or when you go on a trip, why is there why, why there's no why is there no pain, huh? Well, you don't ask yourself this. That is what, what we need, you know. We need to investigate it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's just like this, you know. It has always been like this, you know. I mean, yes, I always have been born and I always die, you know. And it will not change, yeah. If I don't investigate it, what is birth? What is death? Yeah. <clears throat> what is old age? What is pain? What is illness? What is sickness? Yeah? If I don't investigate what it is, yeah? oh, I investigate what is hell, what is heaven, and so on. Yeah? We have to investigate all this. We cannot leave anything out there to our assumptions. Yeah? Because we live, we, our whole life is based on assumptions. We assume this, we assume that. Yeah? We assume, yeah, pain is in the body. Yeah? And then look at it, you know, investigate it and, and observe it, yeah. And if you're really keen on it, you know, then you will see. Hmm? Once once you get down to the once you get down to the pain, it suddenly once you get down to the truth, it suddenly disappears. And, and jumps to another place. And then we go to this other place. Until it shows us where it's come from. Yeah? And then we know what pain is. Before we just assume pain. Yeah? Same as restlessness. Get down. Yeah? And boredom. Yeah? The moment you're interested in boredom, boredom disappears. Yeah? Restlessness is a little bit more difficult. Yeah? Because... It needs a focus. The moment you can focus this restlessness into one point, you know, I mean, the restlessness also disappears. You just follow your whims, yeah? The whims of the kilesa. That's not the way to practice. The practice is to investigate, not to follow our assumptions, yeah? We assume this, we assume that, yeah? Or we say, we know this, or we know that. What do you know? 
Whatever you know is not in line with the truth. <clears throat> Whatever can be disputed is not the truth. Whatever you can put, you know, wherever you can put your doubts on, is not the truth. So get your act together, yeah, and practice, yeah, and use the time of this rains retreat, you know, to really, to really dive in, to really delve into the practice, yeah. I don't want this, 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 this unconcentrated behavior, yeah. Looking left, looking right, you know, what is he doing, what is that doing, you know, what is going on here, what is going on there. I'd, I'd really want to see you concentrated on your subject, be it, uh, be it the investigation of the body, you know, or be it, uh, you know, be it the training of samadhi, yeah? no matter what it is. Yeah? So, and with this I end the talk. Yeah? I'm tired. Huh? <clears throat> You understand? Hmm? So strange. Just remove control. <clears throat>